Hey y'all, welcome to another installment of the Dave D.Y. Show. Today's another special fun Friday. <laughs> fun Friday. Okay, so knock knock. Who's there? Um, Orange? Orange who? Yeah, aren't you glad I'm not going to tell any more knock knock jokes? Or jokes in general, man. <laughs> Sorry. Fun Friday. Fun Friday on the show. So, um, another installment out of Boston Robotics. Boston Robotics. I mean, you guys have seen these things. They're awesome. They're jumping, walking, throwing, laughing, climbing, balancing, opening, closing. Okay, wait a minute. This one's not Boston Robotics. It's some boss town robotics. <laughs> I think you'll enjoy this clip. Yeah, so that was pretty good, right? Makes you laugh. <laughs> uh, I fear the day that the robots take that approach. Hey, what was the movie where um, they had the video camera running late at night, right? Two, three in the morning and someone in the house would wake up and like stalk you and kill you and do secret things. That's what the ending reminded me of, walking toward the camera. Huh? Yeah, oh well, fun Friday. All right, so last item here. <laughs> Oprah, Oprah doesn't like me. Did you see the clip with Bella Thorne? Listen, man, I get social media. I get all of the politically correct positions, um, trends, even cultural changes that are going on nowadays. But this craziness with popularity and opinion that has lost any connection to common sense, ugh, Bella Thorne is really disappointed because Oprah said on her show, like um, a normal parent, uh, you know what? You took pictures of yourself naked. That's probably the issue. It's not that some retard in Russia, China, the Philippines, India hacked your shit. And you know what? Grabbing back, taking back your power. Ugh, I took it back by releasing your own nude pictures? Uh, I don't know if that's strong or stupid. Sort of stupid. Oh, for a set of stupid. Yeah, you are stupid. If you look at poor Bella Thorne, she's come from a pretty tough environment. And she's done quite well. But uh, the exposure of her crying and yelling at Oprah on The View, or not Oprah, with uh, Whoopi Goldberg. I keep saying Oprah. Whoopi, dude, we all know Whoopi's tough, right? Whoopi Goldberg has always been non governor She shares her shit, she's got an opinion, and she's pretty brutal about it. And it was weird that uh, poor Bella broke down and had, she's 21 years old, and I don't think she's mature. I don't think she knows what mature is. I think she's uh, parentified, I think she was long parentified. I think she was abused. She was born down here somewhere in Florida, um, Pembroke Pines or something, and then did some acting and she was abused as a child. I mean, she's had it tough, so just a shame to see her cry that Whoopi said shit that You know, I feel pretty disgusting, Whoopi, not everyone seen like, you know, my shit and uh, and I just want to say that me watching this interview made me feel really bad about myself and, and I hope you're happy. I really do. I really hope you're so fucking happy because I can only imagine all of the kids who have um, their shit released and then they commit suicide and you know uh, you're so crazy for, for, for thinking such terrible things on such an awful situation like you know I, I don't really want to go on the view anymore because I don't really want to be beaten down by a bunch of older women for my body and my sexuality I don't really feel like that and so I'm going to cancel my interview because I don't really want you guys talking about your views to young girls because I would not want my daughter to learn that and I would never say that to her. 
Okay, I'm done. Shame on you, Whoopi. Shame on you, and shame on you for putting that public opinion just out there like that for every young girl to think that they're disgusting for even taking a photo like that. Shame on saying if you take a sexy photo then it basically deserves to get leaked like don't be surprised at all and don't feel sorry for yourself so if i go out to a party drinking and i want to dance on the dance floor do i deserve to be raped too because to me i see those two things really fucking similar okay and then for her statement that it was mean that it was disrespectful that that's not the right approach uh, would be spot on and if nothing else, Whoopi's always been that way. Like, look, man, take care of your shit. Whoopi lived on the streets. She lived out of a car. So, uh, I don't like a lot of her brashness. And who doesn't? Uh, who does? I'm brash, right? But um, common sense, Whoopi's got most of it, most of the time. You know, whatever. So, that was a shame to see, but funny, because... <laughs> Probably picked up a few uh, people on Twitter, a few followers on Insta, Snapchat, Graham, BAM! Bella crying, but the naked pics, ooh, appalling. I'm sure she's got more than enough people following her. So, whatever, your own choice, your own opinion. That's my installment for Fun Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. Dave do our show. Subscribe, comment, like, share out.